and so the North is lost. I knew that the Blight spread ever more swiftly, Your Grace. But this... This is far, far worse than any could have imagined. It is only a matter of time before the Twins are no more. is ever closer to its end, and here we chase shadows. Tell me, brother, are our efforts in vain? Master Clive, a moment, if you... Uh, my apologies. I didn't mean to intrude. Not at all. Uh, we were just discussing strategy. Speak freely, Otto. It's Martha, from the inn. She's gone missing. Anyway, I'll be in the mess when you've finished. Very well. would make Martha leave the rest. Maybe should we find out? If something has happened to Martha, we need to speak with Otto. about that she's working with us or if someone attacked her like the bandits we fought before what do we know Otto some lads from the Imperial garrison in Rosaria started a fight over at Martha's Rest. Blood was spilled, bones were broken. The usual. But somewhere in the middle of it all, Martha vanished without a word to anyone. And that ain't like her, Clive. Something's not right. You think this was planned? Of course it bloody was. Ever since Eastpool, the Empire's been tightening its grip around the Duchy's ball. They've strung up everyone who's ever set eyes on a runaway, claiming they're traitors to the Holy Throne, conspiring to restore the House of Rosfield to power. I know it sounds like the bastards have turned their attentions to the poor bearers meek enough to stay put. Naturally, old Martha could see the way the wind was blowing, complained that it was getting harder and harder to take bearers in. And now she's missing. She's fallen into the hands of the Empire. We could be next. Couple of curse breakers are already on their way to the inn. They should help speed up the search. But if this is as bad as I think it is, you might end up having to save their asses and all. Don't worry, Otto. I'll make sure everyone gets home safe. So they did fight, but then it sounds like she she'd been captured, like it was a play. Hey, damn it. Oh, I got a side quest? Who the fuck has a side quest here? Uh. Oh. It's down there. Shit, I didn't see that. Fuck. Back, Sid. What's wrong with you? Hey, who the hell are you? Damn blighty bilge. Is everything all right? Aside from the holes in my hull, everything's roses. The lake water doesn't agree with it, then. That's one way of putting it. And unless you got some grand scheme to suck the black from the lake like we do in the atrium, that slurry will keep eating away at the timber like young Tech does our lemon tarts. 
suppose a coat of pitch might stave off the rock for a moon or so. Assuming we had any pitch, which we don't. Not any bloody more. Doubt the old tub's got more than a dozen runs left in him. Of course, Obelus. Your skiff is our only means of reaching the mainland. Without it, we'd be lost. Well, I'm glad someone round here sees it that way. To make pitch, you need pitch trees. But in case you haven't noticed, live trees are one of the thousand things sorely lacking in the Deadlands. Now, I'm not so unkind as to ask you to fell a faraway forest and lug the logs back here to the mere. Which is why we'll be needing a suitable alternative. And it just so happens I once heard the thorny pitchers of Curltail Falls cover themselves in a sticky wax to trap birds and beetles and whatnot. Might be enough to tide me over. Sounds easier than felling a faraway forest, that's for certain. Let me do the side quit really fast. I want I wanna know what the fuck is that point? Ten something. I saw something that I have never seen before. Okay. Can I just jump down there? Who? Oh! No oh, fall damage? Fuck! This whole time I've been going down with ladders or the hideway. Easier than felling a forest, I said. The trees don't have teeth. Stay down. I just want to practice, that's it. I was holding it, I, I forgot how to play for a while. Right. Ah! Reaction, bitch! All right. There we go! what I need. I can't imagine Obelus needing any more than this. Time to head home. Well then, let me do the main mission. I wanna know what happened. What happened here? Come on. We need to find the others. What the fuck? What, why is it? Materials. If oh. they are Martha, they are the only we are to I reckon. To. The boys from the garrison might still be nearby. Founder. I'd rather not bump into them again. Let's get you to a physical, shall we? Sid? What said you'd be coming? I trust you don't mind. Also thought you might need some help. And it appears he was right. <laughs> you, uh, could say that, yes. They're saying the Imperials ascended like a storm. No one was spared their fury. Martha tried to step in and calm things down, but... All our efforts got her were a pair of iron shackles and a hard march. Any idea where? Judging by their tracks, they headed towards Sorrowwise Bay. To the Abbey, sheltering Martha's bearers. The bastards. Jill and I will go after them. You take care of the people here. We will. But, um, before you go, one of the locals heard something. He said the soldiers were talking about a culling. I don't know how big this is, but it doesn't sound good. Be careful out there, Sid. You do the same. Culling? 
Soul is right. That was no tavern brawl. It was a message. But to culling. Bearers are the property of the Empire. The garrison wouldn't have the authority to act alone. The orders would have had to have come from higher up. His okay. mother. It has to be his mother. He's the only one I could think of. Very well. Oi, look sharp! Hey, what? His mother's the only one that's pretty much killing everybody. Well, not everybody, like every bearer. Like he sends an ar army of the empires to go kill him or Imperials. I never heard, you know, like, like, you know, like the king send them or the son of the king, but Look. right now it's Annabelle. Up ahead. Martha, are you hurt? Don't worry about me. It's them at the Abbey who need you. You have to do something. Tell us what happened. What happened? The damn Black Shields, that's what happened. The Black Shields? The bastards caught wind. The abbot and I were helping bearers. They were gonna hang us both. When the sick rose from their beds, poor souls turned on the Imperials, distracted them long enough for me to get away. Then, they may still be alive, Martha. Do you think you can make it back to the inn? Cole is there with the other curse breakers. I think so. Thank you, Clive. Black shields. Is this some sort of twisted joke? There has only ever been one order of shields in Rosaria, and they fought to defend all her citizens. Seems a step too far, even for the Empire. It has to be the mother. has to. It's like the only enemy that's will use the name of her former husband. They rolled up. It sounds like they, they transform into monsters. Did they transform into monsters? Are we too late? There might still be someone inside. No. I thought you lot were all spent. Murderers. They drove the bearers to this. Wait. These two aren't turned. Ugh. That bitch of an innkeeper must have sent them. Colluding with the enemies of the Empire is a serious offence. And for their crimes shall they be punished. Such is the law. To dwell in darkness that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these our swords we swear. How dare you speak those words! Have you no honor? Clive. This won't take long. Fuck! <laughs> Oh my 
Like it has to be the mother. I killed my ass. You're weak. Already? Holy shit! This is supposed to be the black shield. Like they sound like they're, they're like the toughest members at, uh, out there. Is that all of them? I think so. The let me see. The hell is this right here? I've never seen this before. What the fuck is this? I got ten. What the fuck does that mean? I didn't see the abbot. He may still be alive. Oh, he's being chased by the black shield. Don't you dare jinx us, Jill. Found her. The abbot. The bearers died protecting him. Calling upon what little magic they had left in their bodies. Clive. He's breathing. We're friends of Martha. We're here to help. Are the Imperials dead? They are. Every last one. Only that were true. <coughs> the black shields will return. The cuttings will continue. Rosaria will never be saved unless we save her. Tell Martha to beg his aid and tell her this wasn't her fault. I... I shall. Sid! Where are you? Sid! In here! We found a survivor! Clive? He's gone. <sighs> We've laid the abbot to rest. But the bearers... They didn't need to die like this. No, they didn't. But it was their choice. They knew the fate that awaited them and chose to meet it on their terms. Fighting for those who fought for them. Martha said they rose from their beds, threw themselves at the Imperials so she and the Abbot could escape. I've gathered the bearers' remains. We should consign them to the tide. There's a drawbridge not far from here. Redux jump. The currents there are swift. If the abbot were still with us, he'd have taken the dust there himself and performed the casting. I'll get someone to... I'll do it. Of course. Cole and I will remain here and see to the Imperials. Yeah. 
bastards. Go back. Yeah. Well, the mother crystal is no longer there. Do I go back here? I want to know what the fuck is going on over there. Let's see if like everybody's like you know like maybe in terror. That the mother crystal is gone. That, I don't know. Maybe God forsaking them or something. Or maybe they're blaming the bearers say that they did this. What the fuck is this? Rank C! Uh, a bounty? This is weird. A to notorious mark. Every new and then climb may encounter a creature larger, larger and faster. And more ferocious than most. While well, flight is always an option, defeating these notorious mark can earn him a lot of only re reown. Also, rare materials that may be used to craft new gear and upgrade existing items. The thing has spotted us, Torgal. What am I saying? Of course it has. It's a floating island. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? I clicked the wrong buddy. Fuck, it has lasers. Second phase, what's going on here? Holy shit, he's going all out. <laughs>
There we go, we got... Ooh, our bounty. What do I get from him? Oh, I'll get some rare materials? What the fuck is this shit? He didn't see that coming. Fucking bastard. I wanted like, I don't know, maybe a necklace. You know, like a rare necklace that I have. That must be the bridge. Wait a sec. That's the item. So shall the waters cleanse thee of thy burden and bear it out to sea. And now they are truly free. I hope so. What of the Imperials? A pyre was made. It's more than they deserve. We should go back. Cole is worried about Martha. All right. No one survived then. I'm sorry. Before he passed, one of them bade me tell you not to blame yourself. Doesn't mean I won't. Doesn't mean their blood's not on my hands. Cole said you cast their remains. That was good of you. But it should have been me. This was all my fault. How? Oh, you couldn't have known. But I did. And I turned a deaf ear to the warnings like the fool I am. The rumors started moons ago. Of black-clad devils descending on villages in the dead of night to slit the throats of sleeping bearers. I assumed it was all just nonsense concocted by the Empire. Nothing but a ghost story meant to make folk think twice about lending a hand to a fugitive bearer. And in ordinary times you would have been right. What these Black Shields are doing is unthinkable. Which begs the question, why do it at all? My mother obviously has a hand in this. I cannot make sense of her actions. And picking what goes on in that woman's head is a job for someone with more time on their hands. Right now, I need swords and men to wield them, preferably big ones. If those Imperials think they can come in here again and threaten my people, they're in for a rude awakening. Oh, before I forget, a Stolas from Otto landed just before you arrived. He asked me to tell you that Gav has returned. Then we must as well. Will you be all right here, Martha? We can stay longer if you wish. No need. I'll be ready should the Imperials come calling. Though I wouldn't turn my nose up if you were to lend me a pair of them strapping young curse breakers. Oh yeah, what the fuck is this? I wanna know what the fuck is this right here? This green cross, what the fuck is this? Does it like upgrade something or what the fuck is that? Oh Who has a side quest for me? Are you not an asshole? Oi! You there! Well, don't just pass me by! Uh, you handy with that sword of yours? Of course you are. Bet you're a bloody marvel with the thing. Now, question is, are you willing to use it or not? Cause a flock of noble chocobos are in need of help. Chocobos? You heard me right. Wild birds? Hmm? The big ones? And not just any chocobos at that. Whiteheart and her flock are the bravest birds you ever did see. 
They protect travelers round these parts from bandits and the like. Chocobos. Fighting bandits. It's true. Why, they saved me from a gang of footpads only yesterday. Nasty lot they were too. And now, they're back. Looking to settle the score. Oh, go on then. D don't just stand there. Go and help them. <sighs> All right. There's a good lad. Where can I find these chocobos? I saw them cut across the way over yonder. The rotten scoundrels were driving the poor things towards the old dock. It's a dead end, that is. You save Whiteheart and her flock, you hear me? There ain't a pluckier bird in all the world. She's a hero to us locals. And don't worry, you'll know her when you see her right enough. I'm sure I will. And good luck to you. I give those no good bastards a hiding from me. Uh, Whiteheart? It, it, it sounds like it's my chocobo, my, the chocobo that saved me. Let's see. I, I'm hoping. That's quite a name for a chocobo. <laughs> I hope it's my chocobo. Shit, I want to know what happened to it. It saved me and it just disappeared. Oh, I thought that was a chocobo. White feather. I thought Ambrosia was one of a kind. Speaking of brave birds. Looks like they went that way. Maybe it is her his bird shit. Or maybe she has a family. These chocobos aren't going down without a fight. Uh, where do you go? Mark. What? They're in trouble. Oh, is that them? We got you cornered, Feathers. You didn't think you'd seen the last of us, did you? You've been bad for business, but I reckon someone will pay good coin to mount your head on their wall. Not around here, they won't. Oh, and why is that, eh? Because she's something of a hero in these parts. You hurt her, and I hurt you. Piss off. Or better still. How about we hurt you both? All right then. But don't say I didn't warn you. Yeah. Oh, sorry, bitch. Is that my bird? I'm not really sure. <laughs> what the fuck? It just took the last kill for me or the last hit. What the fuck? Oh, that's a big guy. Fuck. All this to kill a fucking chocobo? Shit. <laughs> what the fuck was that? This dog would do a flip. Holy shit. Ah! 
That's a little sus right there. <laughs> You're safe now. White heart, I presume. Do you know her, boy? See how you were getting on. Oh, well, you sorted the bastards then. I knew you would. <laughs> and the whole flock made it through unscathed. Thankfully, they did. And not only that. Well, I'll be. I never stopped to think our hero here might once have been someone's mound. <laughs> Though I dare say she'd suit a fine fellow like yourself. Reckon our feathered friend must have learned a thing or two from her master. Kind-hearted warrior that you are. <laughs> Bird like her would have cost a princely son. You born a lord or something? Well... I, uh, um... Oh, no, sorry, sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to pry. Don't matter who you are, you done right by me. What is it, girl? She wants her master back, I reckon. <laughs> Told you, and it seems her pals agree. Is that it? You want to come with me? Well, bugger me if this ain't a heartwarming sight. The lads down the stables will be hearing about this tonight. Oh, 
Stay right where you are. Doesn't she cut an handsome figure, eh? She does indeed. How much do I owe you? Ah, a few scraps of leather's the very least I owe, old Whiteheart. Oh, I'll be sad to see her go, of course. But she's earned her right to happiness and more besides. Don't you worry, we'll get along just fine without her. <laughs> you hear that, Whiteheart? You've earned yourself some time off. You have fun traveling with your master now. Hmm. You seem awful familiar now I get a proper look at you. That's it. When those chocobos swarmed my car on the road, didn't you? Uh... No. No, that can't be right. That fellow was a bearer. Must have been my double. Oh, must have been, eh? <laughs> Oh, that'll be the excitement getting to me, silly sod that I am. Pay me no mind. <laughs> Anyhow, best be on my way. Good luck to the both of you. You take care of your flock for now. I'll call you when I need you. Shit, she was still alive! Fuck! <laughs> I like how they put her eye patch on there. Shit, shit. Now she is the Odin. She's Odin now. Because I don't think Odin has an eye patch on this game. So, he's a fake. But shit, she was still alive. I, I actually thought she died or something. Chocobo unlocked. Oh, I could actually write it? After 18 long years, Clive has finally reunited with the faithful steed. Press R3 uh, while in the field to summon Embraeus. Or Embraeus. And X to mount the Chocobo. Shit. Well, I don't need to be here, do I? Mm, no. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. What the fuck happened here? I wonder what happened. 